Today I am going to show you how to approximate the square root of 51 minus the square root of 49. Whenever you see this type of question, the first thing you should do is rationalize the numerator. And in a minute, I will let you know why to do this. Multiply both numerator and denominator by the square root of 51 plus the square root of 49. This way, we will have plus in here instead of minus. Using a plus b multiplied by a minus b as a square minus b square, the numerator will be 51 minus 49 or 2, and the denominator will remain as it is. So now our job is to approximate this denominator. For that, we will find the integer numbers between which this sum might exist. Let us call this sum as x. So we will try to find the integer value, which is just smaller than this x and just larger than this x. To do this, we will find the value of x square, which will be square root of 51 plus square root of 49 whole square. We will use this a plus b whole square formula here to get 51 plus 49 plus 2, multiplied by square root of 51, multiplied by square root of 49. So using this, we have reduced these two ugly square roots into a single square root. Now, 51 is 50 plus 1, and 49 is 50 minus 1. So using this formula again, we get this value as 50 square minus 1. So x square will be, this will be 100 plus 2, multiplied by square root of 50 square minus 1. Now how can we get rid of this minus 1? Notice that 50 square minus 1 will be less than 50 square. So x square will be less than 100 plus 2 multiplied by square root of 50 square. Or it will be less than 100 plus 2 multiplied by 50 or 200. But 50 square minus 1 will also be much bigger than 49 square. So x square will be greater than 100 plus 2 multiplied by square root of 49 square. Or it will be greater than 100 plus 2 multiplied by 49 or 198. Now if x square is less than 200, then it is also less than 225, which is 15 square. So this part gives x is less than 15. And now if x is greater than 198, then it is also greater than 196, which is 14 square. So x will be greater than 14. Now our goal was to find an approximate value of this one, which is 2 divided by x. Since x is greater than 14 and less than 15, 2 divided by x will be greater than 2 divided by 15 and less than 2 divided by 14. 2 divided by 15 is 0 0.133 and 2 divided by 14 is 0 0.143. Therefore, our answer lies somewhere between this and this. So if we take their average, we get our answer as approximately 0 0.138. Now, if we verify it using a calculator, we find that the actual answer is really close to our approximation. So good!